Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am back with another tiny house. We've got an installment of the squish here today. And this is actually a tiny house for a teenager. I thought that that would be a fun concept and a different way to go ahead and play the game. And it allowed me to use some of the items from high school years in a tiny home and make it just like really fun and youthful and colorful. So that is what we're doing here today. This is a little bit more expensive than a starter home. I believe it's like 22,000 simoleons. So I think it's attainable, especially if you're doing sort of like a rags to riches sort of situation and uh, you eventually build up to having a tiny home that could be really fun or you don't, you just add a little bit of extra cash or your Sims are cheating for money. That's usually what I do in game, to be honest. I rarely will have my Sims actually need to earn anything. <laughs> Uh, to pay bills, yes, but I will like buy a house or an apartment and fully decorate it to how I want it to begin with, regardless of how much money they have, and then they have to figure out how to pay the bills. That's how I play anyway. Let me know how you play. Uh, but anyway, I was really inspired by this like painted parking space in Debug, and so I really wanted to have that on the porch on this house, and then I'm playing around with the roof here quite a lot, trying to figure out the best way to make it look cute. I do change it a little bit later on. But I did want to use a lot of items from high school years, but it's not entirely focused on that. Uh, the concept was behi behind this house was teenager, so more youthful items, a lot of high school years. But I also wanted it to look like a combination of items they bought used as well as like found items and uh, some cheaper items as well that looked like they could have gotten in a first place. I guess this could also be for a young adult, like going to college or something. I kind of blend the two ideas together in my head a lot, so it could work either way. Uh, but you'll see on the inside, we do use a lot of high school years, but I also use some stuff that's like from the dumpster from Eagle Lifestyle and some like crates and stuff, just like some random items put together. And I really like how this house came out. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, but out here, I am just playing around with some debug fencing to make it look like there's a little bit of a yard space here and getting lots of greenery around the space as well. Just playing around quite a bit with uh, shall I vid it objects, <laughs> trying to have a bit of fun with it, uh, which I really did. And also, I wanted to mention that I am so sorry that I've been a little like MIA, haven't been posting as much here or streaming as much lately. Uh, my depression has been like kicking my butt lately, <laughs> so uh, I've been a little bit absent, uh, but I'm hoping to be back more this week. Uh, that's the goal anyway. Uh, let's let's hope that's what happens uh, because I just, I love creating content and talking with everyone and building in The Sims and it's just so much fun. So I'm hoping to be like more present this week. So hopefully uh, you can keep an eye on the channel and there'll be a lot more content to look at. Also, I'm expecting that maybe this week or next week, we should be getting like an announcement or release of a kit because there's supposed to be two more in this quarter. We had the expansion pack and there's supposed to be a cast kit and a build kit. So I'm wondering when those are going to be announced. <laughs> hmm. It'd be funny if they get announced before this video goes live because I'm recording this like 10 minutes before one o'clock and they usually announce things at one o'clock, but it's also a Monday. So they might not announce anything today. They might wait until tomorrow. I have no idea, but um, <laughs> it'd be really, interesting to see when those things are coming out and see some more information about them. I believe the build kit is going to be like Desert Lux or something like that. That was the leak. Um, so I'm very interested to see what those things are going to be and see if they can inspire some fun builds. Uh, but anyway, back to this build. I wanted this to be for a teen who is a little bit more outdoorsy and like spending time uh, like with nature. So that was kind of the idea here. I have like a nice seating space outside. I also have the cheer map for like outdoor activities. Maybe they are on the cheer team. I thought that that could be kind of cute. And then I am just trying to figure out the floor plan now before I actually fully decorate the inside and then redrawing this pathway. I, I guess I deleted it, but I redrew that pathway so many times and I'm still not sure if I'm happy with how it looks in the end. I do come back and fix it a little bit later, but um. <laughs> It's just sometimes you just can't get it right. Uh, terrain paint is always a little bit finicky anyway. But outside, I wanted to make sure there was a barbecue, a bike for your Sims to go ahead and bike around, a nice picnic table with an umbrella as well. Trying to bring in some of those colors from that painting on the porch. Uh, so utilizing the yellow there. And here is where I'm changing up the roof line. I think it looks a little bit more interesting this way. So they're not like the same. 
Uh, so I really enjoyed that and then just adding that little awning on it as well and getting some rocks to place in with all of the other greenery that I have on this lot. Uh, I just really wanted it to make, I guess, make sense, fit in with the area around it. So I was trying to utilize a lot of the July Vida objects plants that I was seeing around the lot and then I noticed the back I had kept completely blank. So I should be adding some plants back here as well to try and fill it in so it doesn't look so out of place. So adding some more trees and shrubs and like low lying grasses and flowers and stuff. Uh, just trying to blend it in. I think it worked out nicely. I loved the purple flowers I've used all over this lot. There's a couple of different ones that came with uh, Shalavid objects with that pack. And I really, really enjoy them. I remember seeing them for the first time forever ago when I got super, super, super early access to this pack when I was working on the builds for it and being so excited to have access to them to use in builds because obviously I couldn't for those builds because I couldn't use cheats, uh, but I did take a peek and I was very excited. Uh, so it's nice to be able to use those now. And here on the porch, I have a couple of different chairs. I have like a dumpster chair from Eco Lifestyle. We have a folding chair from City Living. Uh, just trying to get a bunch of variety here. And I use this tapestry in the kitchen space as well. I thought it looked so pretty here and just looks like a nice decorative piece. We have a mini fridge as well that I put a microwave up on top of. Uh, I really wish the other mini fridge that has all the stickers on it had more swatches or that this mini fridge had options with stickers on it because that would have looked so cute in this space but it just wasn't really fitting with what I was going for so didn't end up using that in the end but I am getting some shelves over here and figuring out the kitchen space I tried to clutter up that shelf above the sink with quite a few items and I wanted it to look a little bit messy like this whole space isn't supposed to be dirty and super messy but I wanted it to feel kind of realistic to a teenage experience if you somehow had a tiny home and you were living on your own, which, you know, it's The Sims, so you can do that, and I just thought it would be fun. So uh, let me know if you've ever played as just a teenager and didn't have parents or any other Sims living with your Sim. I guess that kind of works also for the Big Sister Challenge, which I posted a video on an apartment for that challenge recently. So same sort of idea. I suppose you could probably have two Sims living in this house because I do include a double bed um, if they're okay with that. <laughs> so that's an option, but here are all the things I added up on that shelf. I thought like a pile of pots and pans would be good. The open cereal box, those are both from, uh, oh my goodness, I can't think of it. I can think of the name of the world, Granite Falls. Outdoor Retreat, that's where those are both from. I, they're like camping supplies, but I thought that they looked cool here. I love the idea of just like an open, ripped open uh, cereal box and cans and stuff that are just left about. And then I also got one cutting board instead of two. I got the egg rug in here. I just think it's so cute and quirky. And I love the idea of that being in a kitchen space. I also use this other rug over here for the dining area. And then this is that dumpster table. I think it's from The Sims 1 that you can get from Eco Lifestyle and put a couple of chairs with that. And then the area with the big rug is going to be where the living space is, which I think worked out pretty nicely for the layout in this home. It's, uh, I think, a tier three tiny home. I believe it's 80 something tiles. I also made sure to use like this big new basket of clothes that we got with uh, high school years. I think that's a nice addition. This is a little mascot I put in the kitchen. I don't know. I just had f so much fun with like the little details and random items that I got to put in this space. And it's just really fun for me to build tiny houses. It's one of my favorite things to do on the channel. I have some ideas for a new series of tiny houses you might see it sometime soon. Uh, but of course, it's never going to be the only thing I post. I have lots of other ideas and um, I'm excited to get back into building. So it should be a good time. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped for this week. Anyway, I also added some fairy lights here and the like whiteboard piece that is from university. University and high school years work so well together. The items are perfect, obviously, because they're both school themed and for a younger crowd, uh, you know, university comes right after high school for the most part. Not for everybody, but uh, I think that's sort of the style of the packs uh, for The Sims anyway. And this is going to be the living space. We have a computer desk as well as a singular couch. We have some plants. And over here, I'm going to put a crate in the corner to put a TV on, which I thought was really cute. I liked the idea of mixing uh, some newer things, some cheaper items, some like found items or customized DIY'd 
Uh, it's mostly like really bright and cheerful, but there are a couple items here and there that I was thinking were like hand-me-downs. Obviously, we also have an old stove and I love the curtain on this shower. I never used it, but I was really going for a more artsy, colorful sim who likes the outdoors and this has flowers on it. So I had to. We also have a mirror with stickers on it, including a cacti, which I thought was really cute. And then I am just filling up this shelf with a couple of items. It's not that full because I didn't realize I didn't have my red shelf installed. So I, uh, you know, just put a couple of things. We have the like hair dryer and brushes and stuff as well as a towel. And then I moved the little hand towel, I believe, over to be next to the mirror on this wall as well. And I think all that's left is getting a bath mat in here. And that should be it for the bathroom. I think it's pretty colorful, but I really like it. And then this is the one and only bedroom in the space, of course, using a new bed. And I just really liked this pink and yellow swatch of this particular double bed that came with high school years and pairing it with that painted wallpaper. Oh, it's just so pretty. Uh, it's a very small space, so there's not a lot of room for you to add much in here. So I just have a bed, a dresser and a mirror. And I believe a rug and a like bathrobe on the wall as well. And that should be it for this room. And a majority of it for this build, I think I'm just adding a couple last touches. We get a curtain out here by the sliding door, and then I will be finalizing some stuff outside after I add temperature controls and a art piece up above the TV. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this build. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see y'all next time. Bye everyone. Bye.